Have you found any gold ore yet? Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time? Thanks. So... Remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen. Well, I'll talk to the priests in the meantime. See if there's anything you... Now we've need of medicine. Hoi, Arisen. Have you brought any medicine with you? Not yet. Fair enough. Arisen, have you brought any medicine with you? Not yet. Fair enough. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say? As servants of the gracious hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who... Yet, at times... It is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived, an unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the... By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. So, he was put into our care. Got any good stories to share? Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him, but he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. S something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the gracious hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move.
Our patients deserves our full attention. Would that we had more. How dare you! This cannot stand. I'll crush you if you keep that up. <clears throat> A moment's prayer can do a world of good. I spend my days in quiet... It is a fair reward. We cannot complain. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abessus. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is. She gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeared for them. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none say the abbess can enter? If the Gracious Hand has a secret, tis the Abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to... See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any... I have noticed... It would be prudent to investigate the most suspicious place first, methinks. Shall we make for the bait? I shall gladly aid you with... A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Follow me, if you would. How might we enter the basement sick room? Yeah? What is it? Here we are. Best watch yourself. You don't look like much.
I have noticed that the abbess goes out every night without fail. Perhaps you could wait for her to leave and slip into the basement sick room then. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Or so I've learned. Mayhap would serve us well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. Right you are. Shall we present the evidence we have gathered to Sir Lubomir? Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. We're here, Master. You're back? Pray, tell me, have you found anything? These look like records of treatment. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They left here not long ago, fit as a pair of fiddles. I recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loath as I am to ask more of you. Perhaps you would speak to them in my stead? You're back. Pray, tell me, have you found what? You found a medicine used only in the basement sick room. I... I don't like the sound of that. Do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this as well? Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He stayed... Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Ratcliffe, the doctor over in the rest town. You have my support. Pray, follow me. I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room. I can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy. Supposed is only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. What's this? Come to admire my sculptures, have you? Ho, <laughs> oh, ho! To think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the... If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to... And would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere tis made whole. 
If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you'd consider paying a visit to the sculptor in my stead. The man's home is located in Bakbatal. You need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculpture's completion. Shall we seek some answers? Masquerade is already underway, sir. Twill be. A lot. I'd sooner stay out of the battle where it cost me. returned. Oh, my spectacles. Well done, sir. With these, I shall have no need to fear any letters. I shall learn aught I can, that the day might come when I can repay this debt I owe you. Many... Take this as a token of my gratitude. Outstanding. A job well done. I hadn't expected to feel such a sense of accomplishment. I suppose that comes of serving the Arisen. We have arrived. As a reward for Your Majesty's efforts, you have been invited to attend the coronation. To it seem, congratulations are in order. You will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that you... There is much we ought to attend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. It seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap you would be prudent to visit the man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom? He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray, take this. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Do not forget that we work to serve the city. Uh, you wouldn't want to make... I fear I've not useful to share... A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Are we to depart at this hour? I cannot see why we should choose to stumble around in the dark. Shall we check our packs and be off? Feeling rested, I trust? Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself overmuch. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought, mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. 
I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? Much obliged, friend. I hope you're as pleased with our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. Suppose I'd best be off. I've my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. Eyes follow us wherever we go here. It is enough to make one jumpy. Is there aught else you care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. Is there aught else you care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. without you for a little while. You made it after all. <laughs> Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on, what can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. 
we send them packing with a trifle. And if they don't question it, good. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief, Maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next time, then. Whatever it is, I'll thank you to leave me out of it. You're the one, then. F thank you, sir. Not half bad! Can't say I have any tidings to...
got something for me. Greetings, Master. Is this where you've been all this while? Our party is reunited. Surely we can ask for no more than that. Come to think of it. Was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I ne'er end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. What could his e Leave off. Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. Is a fair reward. Can't you see I'm here? We are. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim, have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill will prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So, the false sovereign operates at the behest of... Queen Regent Deesa. The spider has woven... There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim, all shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty would do well to get a good night. your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, your majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern.
we've been had. The false sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. A chance tis a tool that grants power king to that of the true arisen. To a Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this god's way's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. Perchance he knows aught of use. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this god's way? I suppose it is pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brad's investigation. Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. A moment's prayer can do a world of good. You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? These look like records of treatment. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They left here not long ago, fit as a pair of fiddles. I recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loath as I am to ask more of you, perhaps you would speak to them in my stead? There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. If the information we pry from the agent is to be believed, I believe it is worthy of investigation. Should fortune smile upon us, your majesty may even discover some method of undoing the god's way's hold over the pawns. Yet official dealings twixt Vermund and Vital are suspended, and tis no simple matter to gain passage through the latter's fortress. Fortunately for us, however, the agent was hiding this on his person. It is an entry permit, allowing passage through Batal's fortress. It even bears the crest of the Batali Palace. It must I doubt any would dare impede your passage with such an item in your possession. There is one other thing, Your Majesty. With the permit came information I found most intriguing. An oracle who once served in the Vermondian court now resides in Batal. This oracle foretold the coming of the Arisen and was banished from the kingdom when her prophecy displeased the queen regent. Indeed, it was by this same oracle's power that the agent in question came to know of your majesty's whereabouts. The oracle knows much of the arisen. Should you make her acquaintance, she may be able to offer you aid during your infiltration. You the Arisen. I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. Lady Eleanor is a goodly person. A... Elena? Ah, yes. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker. 
till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived. But methinks I was one of the lucky few. So, and once I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And you'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious. Where do they meet? Twas in the square, in the eastern part of the common quarter. And always a night, as I recall. I heard from Captain Brandt that you plan to make for Batal in order to continue your investigation. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here. I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you have the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course. <laughs> I do not understand why the people should fear. It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. Haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Gather round, gather round. Aye, got some coin to spare your humble storyteller. Much appreciated. Peril on the roads puts a strain. One day I'm going. Me? Just go. We'll never get anywhere if all we do is rest. Tis enough to make camp only when the need arises.
right there. Let my magic spawn to an elemental room. Well said. for that performance utter perfection once more not buying that's just as well better to be sir so arisen thank heavens you've come saurians have claimed the village yet again just when almost all of the villagers had arrived as well Oi, what are you doing standing about when there's work to be done? Jonas, this is the good sir I spoke of. The one who called the Saurians for us. Is that right? Then I expect you to aid us with this mess, stranger. You did it once afore, eh? Only natural you'd help finish the job. My apologies for the chief's temperament. Yet he speaks truly. We have need of your strength. Pray, calm the beasts as you did before, sir. These Saurians are a stubborn lot. What say we make them think twice about settling in again? Careful now. Let my magic use your 
Saurians are no more, I see. That's twice you've come to our rescue now. You're more than a friend to Harv Village, Sir Arisen. You are a hero. Truly, we cannot th Here he is! I found our troublemaker! Jonas! What is the meaning of this? This blasted beastrin went and ventured into Stormwind Cave! How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt. He's the one who incited the Saurian's attack. Forgive me. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Trust a beastron to muck things up. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me beastrons go causing problems. And we humans are lumped with the job of... Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous! Fair! I do apologize. It would seem things have turned rather... uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most. I do hope you shall visit us again anon. A rude fellow I never met. The village's troubles are far from done, if you ask me. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. Displaying bowmanship for an elf. My hand would tremble on the string if twere me. But I expect you'll do just fine. I'm not into... Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. Oh, I'd not have thought we'd find one here. A splendid discovery. Ha! Huh? I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. We've got goblins! <laughs> <laughs> so I can't you like this. This place offers a view of the sea. Well...
We shall be diving in any time soon. Hang in there, Master. I'm coming to assist. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. Would be a fine spot to rest, should we have need of one. I will be with you in but a moment. <laughs> <laughs> 